Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I greet you all from wherever you are watching me from. As you all know, this is a channel where we discuss everything real estate. A channel where we provide you with safe, secure, profitable real estate investment. So previously, I did a video on the Lagos Calabar Costa Highway construction. I've shown you a video of the highway construction around the electro axis. I've also shown you another video around the Folu East the Igbogo axis. And today I'm bringing you a video on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction along the Amadu Bello Way in Victoria Island. So the coastal road passes through the Amadu Bello Way in Victoria Island, and the coastal road passes at the back of Landmark Beach. That building you're seeing there is the Landmark Beach. The original gazetted route was supposed to be the Water Corporation Road, which is just at the front of Landmark Beach. The alignment was now changed to pass at the back of Landmark Beach. So this is the Landmark Beach. This is supposed to be where the shoreline of the Landmark Beach is. But the road was changed. It was supposed to be the Water Corporation Road, but it is now at the back of Landmark Beach. So you can see the water down there. You can see that's the Atlantic there. So the road is going to pass here and then from here it's going to connect back to the water corporation road which that's the water corporation road down here so this will go straight down and then connect the water corporation road that's the road there And so currently, I'm at the Amado Bello Way in Victoria Island, where the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction starts from. The tall building you are seeing there on my left hand side is the Kurama Beach residence, and on my right hand side is the Eco Atlantic. And the white small bungalow is the Eco Atlantic sales office. And so we will be heading straight towards that yellow and black construction sign just beside the tall Kurama Beach residence building. That entrance is where it starts and it will lead us straight towards the back of the landmark beach. So as I drove in, I got to a point where I can no longer proceed because that part of the road is still being sand filled. So this will start from the Amado Bello Way, just like I said earlier, and then it connects to the Water Corporation Road. That Water Corporation Road is also passing at the front of landmark beach. So this Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction passes at the back of Landmark Beach and is also going to connect that water corporation road somewhere in front. So please watch this video till the end. And if you have not subscribed, please click the subscription button, click the notification bell, comment, like, and share this video so that other people can as well get updates on what is currently happening here at the section 1 of the 700 kilometer Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction here at the Amado Bello Way, Victoria Island, Lagos.
and so this is where i had to stop because the car can no longer go further due to the sand filling in front where those heavy machines are being packed i came this evening so as to enable me gain entry because the workers has already closed for today so i'm going to walk down the sand filled path passing straight down just at the back of the landmark beach so that you can have a view of what is currently ongoing here just like i explained earlier that road is where the lagos calabar coastal highway construction meets the water corporation road and then continues to mawa and then to kwaja and then to songotedo abijo yes. and eleko where the 47.47 kilometer section one ends of the lagos calabar coastal highway construction and then continues to section two at the lekki Dipsy port axis going straight down to the boundary that connects lagos state and Ubu state which is about 55 kilometers 